What's going on, gangsters? Gregory Scott here. So, I hope everybody's having an extra gameful day. It's about to get even more gameful because today we're going to make some knowledge games. So as we go on this quest together for Ultimate Gains, I don't just want to give you workouts and exercises and have you mindlessly do them. I want you to actually understand why you're doing what you're doing so that eventually you can go out all on your own and create great and gainful workouts. Now I will definitely have some beast mode workout programs for you guys to follow soon, but this is the next best thing and still it's good for you to understand why you're doing what you're doing. So with all that being said, I want to give you three points, three tips to keep in mind as you go on to create your workouts, all right? So let's waste no time, we'll get right into it. Number one, when creating a workout, choose progressive exercises that have high bang for your buck. Now what do I mean by this? As our main course of the workout, after we've warmed up good and properly, we want to hit and progress exercises that work multiple muscle groups at once, complex compound movements. So think of it as like a taco cheesy type of thing, right? So if you hit up Fuzzies or Torchy's Tacos and you get two tacos for the price of one, I think we can all agree that's bang for your buck. Now apply that to exercise and fitness. If you're hitting multiple muscle groups at once, you're creating more work for yourself, placing more load on the body, you're saving time because you're hitting all these muscle groups at once, and you're just getting your body ready for more advanced complex movements. This is why progressive calisthenics or simply going out of your comfort zone yields you such great results. Let's say you're a beginner and 10 push-ups is pushing your body to the limits. When you do it enough consistently, 10 push-ups becomes easy. Now let's say you move on to 10 clapping push-ups. That transition from normal push-ups to clapping is a huge difference in work for the body. The explosiveness to get your body off the ground is a holding stimulus for your muscles, central nervous system, and when your body recovers, you'll be stronger for it. So in your workouts, you should always have at least one to two compound complex movements that you're working on progressing. So here I'll illustrate just different movements that again are working multiple muscle groups at once. Weighted push-ups, hefesto, clench, deadlifts, squats, weighted dips, explosive push-ups, and etc. etc. Are you starting to see the theme here? All these movements require a huge deal of focus, near muscular efficiency, and they're hitting multiple muscle groups all at the same time, which is gonna yield amazing strength gains, amazing aesthetic gains, just everything, overall gains. On the flip side, here's some exercises that are not compound and don't require the same level of focus. Dumbbell curls, cable tricep extensions, seated leg extensions, lap pull downs, and etc, etc. Now again, just to clarify, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with these exercises. If that's what you love to do, if you enjoy doing tricep extensions and a lot of machine work, then go for it. If you want to be a bodybuilder, that's all on you. But the point I'm trying to make is that there are levels to this, and one style of training is a way higher intensity than the other one. Do these compound movements, compound complex movements, is way more intense than doing single isolation movements. Now here's a key point to be mindful of. Be careful of working on too many movements at once. Two main movements is more than enough. And if you're just starting out, I would say even stick to one movement so that you can really focus in and nail it. One more thing to keep in mind. All of these movements, what you do in your workout is adjusted to your skill level. So if you're a complete beginner, you don't have to start muscle up progression. You should be focused on just getting your basic pull up down. Working on a basic push up or working on a basic pull up for a beginner can easily be your main movements for a beginner. Everybody's at different levels. You just have to assess where you are and be self aware. Now on the flip side of things, if you have your basics down, if you're feeling good, don't be afraid to start working on those muscle ups or start working on those levers or different hand bounds and stuff. Just whatever interests you, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so just to recap, gains tip number one is always have one or two movements that you're working on progressing, those compound, complex movements. Now gains tip number two ties in perfectly with number one, and it's this. Frequently incorporate accessory exercises. But Greg, what are accessory exercises? I'm glad you asked. Accessory exercises or accessory work are the muscle building exercises that are designed to bring up your weak points and fix any muscle imbalances. So let's talk about tacos more, okay? So you have your shell, which is your main compound movement, your main lift, okay? Then all the stuff inside of it, all the meat, the cheese, the lettuce, the tomatoes, everything, that's your accessory work. When these things come together, they make this beautiful creation. When you fix and make these weak points stronger, it makes your main compound movement or lift stronger. For example, if your glutes are weak and not firing properly in a squat, you could go do some booty band accessory work to strengthen them. Now when you go back to squatting, your glutes are firing and as a whole, the movement is now stronger. This concept applies to every movement. All it is is a matter of identifying your weak points and making them stronger. Also one thing to note, accessory work doesn't just have to be addressing your weaknesses. 
After your main compound movement or exercises, you're still gonna have some fuel and energy left in the tank. Now this is important to remember. You wanna go hard, but you don't wanna completely tax your body and completely wipe out all your energy during your main movement or your main lift. You still wanna be able to put energy toward those accessory work, those accessory exercises, and fine tuning those little things that over time will make a huge difference. I can't stress this enough, this is a major key. Do not neglect accessory work. I know it can be super easy to get lazy after you do your main compound lift. You just went hard on a movement, you went hard on some deadlifts or squats, and you want to be done. But I'm truly telling you that the difference between average and good and great is accessory work. So don't be lazy, don't neglect your accessory work. It makes a huge difference. So game tip number two, incorporate accessory work into your workouts. Don't neglect it, it's super important. Now game tip number three will keep short and sweet, and it's this, core training. Now think of this as an avocado on top of the taco. Avocado makes everything better and so does core training. All movement is initiated and started from the core. Your core is constantly working. The more core training you do, the better. Core training can be a part of your accessory work or it can be done at the end of your workout. Now personally, I like to always do it at the end of my workout and just go hard, but that's up to you. That's just a personal preference. But either way, make sure that you're doing core training. If you don't have a strong core, if you're neglecting core training, you're not gonna progress. You'll be severely held back. All right, so whoop, there it is. So that's how a beast mode workout shapes up. We have a good dynamic warm up. We have our main compound movement, our main compound exercise. We have accessory work, and then we have core training. And then if you're a beast, you can throw conditioning at the end, but we'll talk about that another time. But yeah, if you follow those guidelines, if you structure your workouts that way, you'll be well on the pathway to gains. All right, so thank you guys, Tons and Millie, for watching my video. I hope you learned something. Feel free to leave a comment below, ask any questions. Follow me on Instagram, feel free to slide in the DMs. And as always, as always, as always, have a gainful day.